Hey guys, we're back with another video. This video is going to be breaking down the Nautilus CC Plus and the S200. Uh, the Nautilus CC Plus is a very popular model because it's available at a lot of stores and also online. So there is a lot of reviews on it and a lot of public opinions on it as well. So this video is going to break down the models, the what they do, um, what might be a better value for you, and the design. So let's go through it. So let's start with the CC Plus. The CC Plus will do um, MSRP as of 2023 is 899. That's usually what you could find it for. I know in other videos I mentioned some models tend to be overpriced above MSRP, so. I will say that both these models are usually available at MSRP, which is good. So, pool coverage. The CC Plus will only do the floor and the wall, so it doesn't have any waterline scrubbing, uh, which a lot of other models have. I guess that's to kind of keep it in a, re a relatively um, affordable price range, so keep that in mind. Warranty. 30 months. It's one of Dolphin's only units that has like a two and a half year warranty. I've never seen that before with any other models, which is very strange. You would think that some of these other models would have a, you know, two and a half instead of a two if it's more expensive, but um, that is a plus on the CC Plus, I must admit. <clears throat> then we go to motors. Both units are going to have two. One pump motor, which is what provides the suction, and then one drive motor, which causes the movement. Cycle times, both have two hours. Caddy is not included in either of these models. Wi-Fi is not included in either of these models. This is where we get to like one of the major differences is the filter design. So you can see in the pictures here that the CC Plus is a cartridge design, and the S200, or models similar to it, have the basket. So the basket overall is gonna be a little bit more convenient for sure. Um, all you have to do is take it out, dump it, hose it off, and put it right back in. Compared to the cartridges, everything's kind of, um, kind of sealed. So you have to take the cartridges apart every time. Um, it's not that bad. I would say you're going to spend 15 minutes cleaning or five minutes cleaning, sorry, five minutes cleaning the cartridges comparing to just a minute or two dumping the, the basket. So that's one thing to consider as well. Uh, filters included in both these models. Um, the CC Plus is only going to have the fine filters. So the fine filters are going to be for when your pool is really dirty. Um, it won't come with the ultra fine filters, which is what you want to use when your pool is clean and that the ultra fine filters are actually going to keep your pool clean. It, it, it's a heavy filter uh, compared to just like a screen net. So it's going to get stuff that you can't really see with the naked eye. And then weekly timer. Both models have weekly timers. So you can set it to run either every day, every other day or three times a week. Uh, from the moment you press the timer button. Um, so other than that, I would say the CC Plus is very popular because it's available in a lot of spots, especially on Amazon. One thing to consider, which is the biggest thing, is the pool coverage. So you're going to have floor and wall only on the CC Plus. For $200 more, you're getting the waterline scrubbing. Um, one of the common arguments I hear is why get a pool cleaner if it's not going to do the whole pool, uh, which is true, uh, because for only $200 more, you're getting the basket design and the waterline scrubbing. So that's also something to consider. You do lose six months on the warranty, but if you take care of the unit, you shouldn't have to worry about any warranty issues when you come to that time frame anyway. Usually, if it's something that's going to be wrong with the unit itself, it'll show itself within a month after you buy it. Other than that, that's pretty much it. 
we can see where these are aligned on our master chart here. You can see the CC plus is here. And you also have the S200 here. And there's also a couple models that are the same thing. They're just reskinned with different names. You can also go with um, the E30 as well. Uh, these models, I, I, I don't think they're, they don't make the Triton anymore. Um, that was stopped last year. The Quantum may be still being made. And then these two models are like Leslie's and uh, Doheny exclusives. So the E30 is more widely available, but that you can get for $100 cheaper than the S200. So for only $100, you get the waterline scrubbing. The only thing is, the only trade-off is you don't get the ultra-fine filters. So the S200 tends to be the better value. Um, but if you are really on a budget, then you can go with the E30. I would say the E30 is a better buy than the CC Plus, personally. Um, so there's that. Uh, as always, this chart is going to be in the comment, or probably in the description, honestly. It'll be in the description. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, one other thing you can also think of is the S200 as well is going to be a pool store exclusive. So usually anywhere you buy them from, you're going to have someone who can service it and take care of it for you uh, compared to just an online drop shipper who's going to tell you to contact the manufacturer. Um, and usually pool stores also have the CC Plus available too. So other than that, that's it for this one. See ya.